What's up everyone, this is All I Talk is Tech, and welcome to the fourth episode of iNews. So I'm gonna make this an actual series now, I got a lot of great feedback, so yeah, let's get started. Okay, so the first story is with iCloud activation lock. So Apple actually took down their website because people were able to type in the serial number of any Apple device and they could figure out by changing the last two digits or letters that by doing that, you could get the ID of another device and you could actually make your phone work again. So this was really bad because people would steal phones. They could type this in and then that iCloud locked phone would be able to work when it should have been locked with the Apple ID passcode not being able to be unlocked unless you have that password. Okay, so next up is Apple stopped signing iOS 10.2. Now, this is really bad for people who wanted to jailbreak, and I also wanted to make a video on how to downgrade your iOS device to 10.2 so you could jailbreak, but now you can't do that because Apple stopped signing 10.2. So if you wanted to jailbreak, the opportunity's gone, so that really stinks. Okay, so this next story is pretty cool. So there's this company that you can send your earpods or airpods to and they will actually change the color of them so that they are like a glossy black finish. So if you have the iPhone 7 in like that jet black color, I forgot the exact name, but that shiny black color, then it makes more sense to have black earpods or airpods, right? Well, Apple only sells them in white. So that's what this company does. So what you can do is you can send in your existing earpods and they'll change the color for $100 or you can do is you can send in your airpods to them and they will charge you 250 dollars whereas if you bought them from apple they're 159 so that's pretty cool and speaking of apple airpods I, this is something that i realized if you take a look at the price of the ipod nano the current one that's being sold and apple's airpods the airpods are more expensive that i don't know apple's pricing is weird so just really makes no sense that airpods are more than an ipod so that's just something i noticed Okay, so going back to the news about the jailbreak, the jailbreak has been supporting more devices now, so I'm pretty sure an iPad and an iPad mini or something got updated so it will work with the new jailbreak on iOS 10.2. I will have a list of all the devices that will work with the current jailbreak at this time so you can see what devices work, but at this time I don't know which devices work, so I'll have it down below in the description. Okay, so going back to the old story, in one of my older videos on iNews, Apple made a patent for augmented reality and they teamed up with a company to design this and stuff, so that's really cool. But a new patent has been made, so Apple apparently is making a patent where they can put text over things. So for example, if you're looking at something, it'll have text above that object giving information. So I'll have a picture on the screen right now that you can see, sort of like Google Glasses, something like that. So that's pretty cool that Apple's having a patent for that. So that's really cool because this can actually be a reality sometime in the near future. Okay, so this next story is kind of ironic. So if any of you have seen the commercial with the Mac guy versus the PC guy, I'll have a picture up on the screen. I'll have a link down below as well to one of their videos. But the Mac guy is now selling products for Huawei. Now, for those of you who don't know what Huawei is, Huawei is a company that sells really good smartphones. So they made the Nexus 6P. They also sold an Ultrabook or something like that. And they're overall a good computer company. But this guy, is now making commercials for them so it's kind of cool to see that he used to work for apple now he's working for huawei so i thought that was kind of neat and interesting but i wonder what apple's thinking right so now. so next up is another patent that apple has so apple actually has a patent for a battery that will go on your wrist now this doesn't have the usual apple watch design that's what i thought it would look like i thought it would look like the apple watch but would have a usb port or something on it but it turns out it's a circular design that apple's gonna have it's gonna be some sort of battery that can go on your wrist that can charge your Apple devices. That's pretty cool. So I can't wait to see this. Hopefully Apple does something with this. That would be really cool to be able to charge your device just with like a watch type battery thing on your wrist. That would be pretty neat, I think. Anyways, that's going to be about it for today. Hopefully all of you did enjoy. Thank you so much for watching and as always, peace.